We begin tonight in Christchurch, where Checkpoint can confirm police are investigating a threat to EQC staff after receiving a concerning letter earlier this month. Our reporter, Logan Church, joins us now from Christchurch. Uh, Logan, what more can you tell us about the letter? Hi Lisa, yes, this morning EQC confirms that it received an anonymous letter at the start of this month in which the safety of its staff was threatened. In that statement, Deputy Chief Executive Renee Walker said security had then been increased at all of its offices. I was actually at EQC's offices yesterday filming an interview for a story which will air later on Checkpoint tonight, but we actually had to pass, uh, pass four security guards to get anywhere near the areas where the EQC EQC staff actually uh, work and there was also no EQC branding visible around the site. While no one from EQC was available today for an interview, in that statement we received this morning, Deputy Chief Executive Renee Walker said that as soon as the threat had been uh, received, security measures were implemented right across EQC's offices and buildings and the police were of course notified. The threat itself though was non-specific and not focused on any particular address or building. Uh, to read directly though from that statement, Renee Walker says there is no excuse to abuse, threaten or even assault EQC staff and those walking are working for us. While we may not always get things right, our people turn up on a daily basis to try and help people in the best way they know how. But of course that uh, letter was received anonymously and the identity of the person who sent that letter remains unknown. Ms Walker is asking for anyone who might know anything about this to come forward and contact the police. Now we do not have much detail as to the contents of the letter and what threats were made. However, calls from our producer to EQC's board chairman Sir Michael Cullen this afternoon confirmed that there had been repeated threats, including one that referenced the recent mosque attacks in March this year down in Christchurch. They said that a member of EQC's executive flew down from Wellington to Christchurch to reassure staff of their safety and the police are now conducting a threat assessment. Do we know if the Minister has been briefed about this? Well, this afternoon, the Minister's office confirms that Megan Woods had been briefed on the threats, but she is currently on a plane and her office was reluctant to go into more detail while a police investigation was underway. Thank you for that, Logan. Logan Church joining us live there from our Christchurch office.